Martin is pairing tonight. Leah Mellinger will defend her IFBA Junior Welterweight Championship and goes for Kathy Collins. IWBF title coming up in tonight's main event. Kathy Collins at 27 years of age, 11 and 0 with three knockouts. That coming up in our main event. Both young women have a point to settle tonight. 27-year-old Kathy Collins is one of the marquee performers in women's boxing, and tonight she puts her seventh fight win streak on the line. 26-year-old Leah Mellinger is also a title holder and one win away from a big step up. They met a little over a year ago. It was a win for Collins. But Kathy thinks she's even better now. I've definitely improved. Um, I'm a much, um, much better defensively with my head work. Um, my body shots have gotten a lot heavier. Um, I have a lot more hand speed. My accuracy is much better. So I'm definitely improved by it. My balance is much better. And my faith in the Lord grows stronger each day. I've become much more well-rounded. I'm, I'm basically a counter-puncher, which everybody knows me. It's not like it's a big secret. I'm, I'm definitely a counter-puncher. And I am much more comfortable in that way, in that style of fighting. I used to try and force myself to do excuse me, do different things while I was fighting. And I finally, I basically, I've gotten to a style. I really have come into my own style, and I'm very comfortable fighting. And I've also picked up some good defense techniques and worked some angles and things like that that I've brought in my portfolio of fighting abilities. Which leads us to this question. What can we expect in the rematch? A lot of movement, a lot of jabs, a little revenge. Kathy likes to fight on the inside. Um, I have considerable reach on her. Uh, she comes in very straightforward. Um, not, she's not sneaky. She doesn't try to sneak up on you and like try and work angles. And she comes right in. She's not afraid to fight. She's there. She's and I know she'll be there. You know, it's not. Uh, I don't have to chase her around the ring. I know that. And what do the world titles mean to these women boxers? Well, my title means everything to me. And uh, the other title I'll add to the collection. Kathy right now has three belts in three different weight classes. I'm not interested in any other weight class but the junior welterweight, the 140 weight class division. I'm very excited to unify the title. I want to not only be a world champion, I want to be the undisputed. Dora Weber, and there is Leah the Kitten Mellinger from Lancaster, Pennsylvania, 26 years of age. Al, 173-day layoff. Is that a big factor? Yeah, I think it's going to be a little bit of a problem for her early in the bout. She is a boxer. She wants to move in this ring, and uh, she's going to have to be on her bicycle early in this match, I believe, to be effective. But uh, she's a very good technician in the ring, and I think it is a very even match for... Kathy Collins, and of course they did fight once before. It was a majority win for Collins, but Mellinger and her people believe she could easily have gotten the decision. On Long Island, and to the strains of you can't touch this, she has never lost a bout as a professional. She is all business. Kathy Collins was 240 pounds, went to a boxing gym just to work out and lose some weight. Her mom was anti-boxing, and now she's a champion. Here's Jean That's one of the big issues there, and of course they address that in the piece. They both feel like they're better. Mellinger's comments were interesting how she feels like she's really settled into her counter-punching style. She now is comfortable doing what she does. Collins will really try and press the issue. She will try and bend at the waist, get inside and do just that. Work the body and then move up to the head. Mm -hmm. And she a hand that Mellinger just ducked away from. Mellinger was asked about Collins. She said, well, she's tough. She's a good boxer. She have a lot of power. Although Collins does have more knockouts than Mellinger. Between the two, Collins probably has more pop in her punches. And most of that comes in her left hook, which is a pretty good shot. Mellinger started 
at the nine rounds with a counter punch. Final seconds of round one. Ten rounds scheduled in this title fight on ESPN2. Collins is not getting on the inside like she wants to early in this match. 21 feet by 21 feet inside the ropes, the ring sides. Very large ring, and so far Leah is using it to her advantage. Soldier with a two-inch height advantage. Collins trying to get the left hook, and that is her big punch. She's very much anxious to fight, especially Christy Martin. And uh, presumably there may be some talks underway for that. That's a stylistically good matchup because they would stand right there in front of each other. Here she's facing a taller boxer who wants to move and counterpunch. Well, like it seems like everybody else in boxing, Kathy Collins said Don King is holding back Christy Martin. Well, basically, I think that's true. They, there was much money offered to uh, a good strategy. Come to the end of round number two. Ten round championship fight. Kathy Collins and Leah Mellinger each defending their parts of the junior welterweight crown. In the corner of Leah Mellinger, Terry Nye, her trainer. Breathe, girl, breathe. Breathe. In through your nose and out through your mouth. Breathe. Okay. You gotta keep you gotta be a little bit more accurate with your jab and keep it going, okay? Double jab and throw a hook to the body, okay? Say it again. Throw a double jab and then throw a right hook to her body, okay. okay? If that works, then double up on right hook. Bam, bam, okay? Mainly that's what I want you to do. I want you to throw a right hook to the body and a right hook to the head. All right, but try and set it up with a double jab. If you smack her with both jabs, the hook and the hook are going to be there, okay? Okay. Okay, you've got to bring your elbows up when you're throwing your hooks. you got your elbows down. You understand me? You're hitting her, but you got your elbows down. Make sure those elbows are up, okay? Kathy Collins gets ready for the start. Of round three, I really like in Mellinger's corner the little mist sprayer. <laughs> yes. Reminds me of what's on the sidelines at NFL stadiums when it's warm. In fact, last week at Giants Stadium, I sat under one before the game. It was about 120 degrees wow. on the field. Those cool zones with the big fan in the water shooting out at you. A nice uh, innovation in the corner. Also good advice. Terry Nye being very specific, not giving her too many instructions, but telling her just what to do. That's good corner work. Women's championship bouts, two minute round. Ooh, Collins got tagged there, falling away. That right hand that uh, Terry and I talked about. This bout could very well come down to, is the body work of Collins going to be enough to get it done? She's certainly done more body work than Mellinger. Just different colors. Let's take a look at the scorecard of Al Bernstein through three rounds. You know, these rounds are pretty close, but I have Leah Mellinger ahead 30-27. Now, that could very well be different on the judges' scorecards because those are close rounds. And Collins has done some good work on the inside. But Mellinger's done a pretty good job of smothering that and then getting back on the outside where she can land some things. You know, Mellinger has made this less of an exciting contest than it could have been if she had stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with Collins, but for her, it's a much better strategic matchup. Yeah, she's not really good. Kathy Collins defending her IWBF Junior Welterweight Championship. Liam Mellinger defending her IFBA title back to Atlantic City after this brief timeout. Kathy Collins is going to have to find a way, I think, of getting on the inside, and she's not throwing her left hook as well as she usually does. It's a wider punch than normal, and uh, it's not getting there. Chance of Leah for Leah Mellinger. She is from Lancaster, PA. The Kathy Wildcat Collins crowd from Plainview, New York. Mellinger is a project coordinator for the U.S. Recycling and Wrecking Center. Kathy Collins was a nursing student, has a year left to go when she got into boxing. Her mom was a nurse, but she said, I want to experience boxing first. She'd rather send opponents to doctors and nurses. <laughs> yes. Be one right now. Welcome back to 
Atlantic City, we begin round number six. Kathy Collins and Liam Mellinger. But now, bizarre happenings in between the rounds in the corner of Kathy Collins. Well, we put the mic in there, and if we are not mistaken, Kathy Collins was trying to get them to stop the fight. They didn't want to. And I, she said, it's my corner. I want this fight stopped. I don't know. She may be injured. Maybe that's part of the reason why she's not performing as well as we might have expected. I think she's frustrated. She just can't, you said it, she can't get into a rhythm. Her trainer, Dan Manro, said, this is something you're going to have to live with. You will regret this if you stop this fight and give up your title. She said, basically, be quiet. It's my corner. And yet, she, really weird. and yet she's come out for the sixth round. It would be unlike Kathy Collins, I think, to quit just because she's frustrated, although we saw Roberto Duran do that years yeah. ago, and he was a great champion. She's fighting better in this round, interestingly, at least getting some shots in, but she is just out of sync and out of kilter. Frustration there. She even apologized to Mellinger for the roughhouse tactics. They touch gloves. Not the yeah. fire from Kathy Collins that you're used to seeing. All those critics. Let's let's listen in between rounds. Let's listen in between rounds five and six in the corner of Kathy Collins. Let's listen. No, no. I want to stop. Kathy, you're really going to fight. Stop. Shut you up. You are going to live with this, Kathy. I heard Dan Manro say you're going to have to live with this, and then she didn't stop. You know, she went out for this round. Leah Mellinger has been the technician in there. It's not that she's landed a lot of big shots, but she has landed enough. And it is certainly not the kind of night Kathy Collins thought about. I'll tell you what, uh, this has been Collins' best round. And we're going to stay right here and take you to the corner of Kathy Collins. Dan Manro is the man. You got to change your thinking you now, all right? Let's listen. You win the front big. All you got to do is fight. Deep breath, deep breath. That's the boyfriend behind you. That's the boyfriend behind you. There you go. You don't want the boyfriend. All right? Just hold it in. Combination. Oh, my God. You want that crown big. Let's do the next one. All right? That was beautiful. You want to have a bunch of color time. All right? Here's your water. You want some water now? Yeah, take a little water. Right here. You've got to focus, Kathy. You're doing great. Believe me. the same way, all right? I, I don't want to hear that. Touch the elbow. But you're winning the fight. You want to throw it away? You can. You fight hard enough, all right? Kathy Collins never said a word. Silence from Kathy Collins, and I don't agree that she's winning the fight, but that was obviously a ploy to get her back out there. Well, I now know to be cautioned for the elbow, um, but they didn't force her to go back out. She no. should have went back out on her own for round six and had her best round. Yeah, I mean, the numbers were close, but we thought she won it. The interesting thing is that I don't think Kathy Collins is hurt. She didn't complain of a specific injury, so it may just be frustration. Mellinger has not thrown the right hand as effect. Oh, there it is. Uh, I was going to say, she's got it in there, finally. She hasn't been throwing it normally. See, she's pawing with her punches. And I think if Mellinger was even a little sharper with her counter punches, might really be able to take advantage of that. Again, the short right by Mellinger. She's starting to get that timing down and counter punch with that right hand. A lot of movement from Leah Mellinger, and that's part of the reason why she's been effective in this match. She's 26-year-old, knew she had to come in here and box, and that is exactly what she's done. Okay, at the end of round number seven, interesting change here in this bout. Kathy Collins, silent in her corner, but is fighting better. Back to Atlantic City after this timeout on ESPN2. Uh, the scheduled 10 round title bout Liam Mellinger and Kathy Collins at stake the junior welterweight championship each boxer owns a piece of the title now total punches through seven well look at the edge now they're telling Collins in her corner that she's winning the round winning the fight we don't believe that and those numbers indicate that she is way behind Mellinger came out in this round it was very aggressive 
And I think if she would get very aggressive, truthfully, and especially with what we know, I think she could end this fight. Al scorecard through seven. And She's a counterpuncher. She wants to make Collins come to her. Earlier tonight, Leona Brown won the Junior Bantamweight Championship. Unanimous decision against Katie Burton. Margaret Sidoroff stopped Rose Johnson. And Kathy Williams, the unanimous decision against Jayla Ortiz. Leah Mellinger is a, a gourmet cook. She enjoys gourmet cooking. Now, if you want, she's cooking up a win here because so far she has used the right hand, the jab, the movement, I think, to carve out what so far looks like a win over Kathy Collins. A very sluggish and tentative Kathy Collins. This is not typical of her effort. And, of course, she is undefeated as a pro, just the three draws. Final 10 seconds of round eight. No knockdowns in the bout. Leah Mellinger and Kathy Collins. Mellinger holds the IFBA belt. Round nine underway, scheduled for 10. And this bout dominated so far by Mellinger, punch-wise. In our view, certainly. Now, her loss to Collins, she also had a loss to Jane Couch, and she was uh, TKO'd in the ninth round by Gina Guidi. Those are all good women boxers that she has lost to. Her good wins came against Lisa Estet, uh, Frida Gibbs, and also against Gina Nicholas. And, you know, those are not names, I'm sure, that are household names to people, but in, am in women's boxing, they're all pretty good, and they all end up fighting each other, and that's why it's tough to stay undefeated. Kathy Collins is finding that out tonight as she faces a better version of Leah Mellinger than she did a year ago. Collins moving backwards, and Bob, that's so unlike her, and getting nailed when she does come in, and that's part of the reason why she's reluctant to come in. Yeah, she landed a right. Mellinger didn't even flinch, and Mellinger ripped off a shot of her own. Bizarre situation in between rounds five and six. Collins basically told her trainer and other corner people that she wanted to quit. She did not want to continue, but she did stay in. She really wasn't coerced into remaining in the fight. She just decided to get up and answer the bell for round six. And according to you and I, that was the only round we think that she won was round six. And in this round, a great sequence of counterpunching by Mellinger about 30 seconds ago was really this fight in microcosm. And I mean, landed good, good counter shots. If there's one criticism of Leah's performance is that she hasn't been busier. She hurt her with a little left uppercut half hook. Leah is starting to show, I think, has a chance to win this fight without going from the knockout. That may be true, but in our mind it isn't. I don't know what the judges are seeing, but we believe Leah Mellinger is well ahead. I like the perspective in the Mellinger corner. We have this fight, but don't let up. Just keep fighting your fight. There are the punch numbers in round nine. Mellinger in front with the landed by 10. And a very poor percentage landed, obviously, for Kathy Collins. There's the countering by Mellinger. Those not landing quite as effectively as they did in the last round, but the, she's had to land some pretty good shots in the last round. Mellinger at 26. With not that, oh, nice right hand by Collins. Mm -hmm. That's her best punch of the fight by far. Collins does have three knockouts, all coming within the first three rounds. Mellinger was right in what she told us before the fight, that she's getting more comfortable with the style, feels she can affect it better than she has in this bout. She's still a work in progress, but certainly she's getting there. Mellinger using the jab there. I think that's been an underused weapon on her part. She's in a prevent defense mode, and they have to hope in that corner that the scoring of the judges is not different than the way they look at this fight and the way we look at this fight, or else she'll regret being in a defense mode. Left hand from Collins. Mellinger answers. 
Collins covers up. Miller just punches a much more arm punches now, but I don't know that it's going to matter. Even if Collins won this last round, I don't think she got the win. Yeah, I think she might have won the round, but too little, too late. Liam Mellinger feels that she has captured Kathy Collins' title. Collins jumping up for joy as if she won the fight. It'd be very interesting to see what the judges thought. You and I both had it eight rounds to two for Mellinger. Don't forget, next week we have back-to-back -back boxing. First on Thursday, we have the under-19 championships on ESPN at 1.30 p.m. Then on Friday, be sure to tune in for a special one-hour edition of ESPN 2's Friday Night Boxing from Las Vegas. Layman Brewster will be in an eight-round heavyweight bout. Eric Butterbean Esch will battle it out in a four-round bout. That's 8 p.m. next Friday night on ESPN 2's Friday Night Fights. Coming up next on ESPN 2, live harness racing. The Canadian Pacing Derby from Toronto, Canada. Leah Mellinger hoping to keep her portion of the Junior Welterweight Championship and take Kathy Collins' portion and hand Collins her first ever loss. We think she won very decisively. We thought the, and the punch numbers really showed that as well. But uh, the judges may have it a little closer than that. And who knows, Kathy Collins might have pulled out a win. But we believe this young lady, 26-year-old Leah Mellinger, got the job done with a very good technical performance. Yeah, you and I have it, 98-92, in favor of Mellinger, eight rounds to two, giving Collins round six and round number 10. But really, that doesn't mean anything. It matters what the judges think. And we are just waiting for the cards to be tallied and for the decision to be rendered by the judges and the ring announce. They are tallying up the numbers right now. And let's see. If our ring announce is ready, here's Dean Calabrese. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of boxing here at the Tropicana Casino and Resort, we go to the scorecards, and our judges have reached a split decision. Oh, give me a break! Judge Cason Cheeks scores the bout 96-94 Mellinger. Judge John Riley scores about 96-94 Collins. And Judge George Colon scores about 96-94 all to their winner by a split decision and new IWBF Junior Welterweight Champion of the World, Leah Mellinger. Has won on a split decision and rightfully so. She wins the Junior Welterweight Championship. That wraps it up from Atlantic City, New Jersey. For Al Bernstein and our entire crew, this is Bob Papa saying so long. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Good night, everybody.